Hello ladies and gentlemen, Desu from Lonely Munch House, long time no see. Uh, today we're bringing you Hawken, which is currently in beta, so you know, if you see any horrifying bugs and crashes, then you'll know why. Um, but it, there shouldn't be too many bad things about it, because, I mean, it's coming out in December, which is, you know, next month. So hopefully the game's practically done. Recently, um, it actually received approximately eight. Eighteen thousand million dollars, I think. Eighteen thousand million, eighteen million dollars, as far as I'm aware, U.S. dollars, and it's being published by Meteor Entertainment. But the developers are Adhesive, which is it's actually the first game, which is pretty good for a first game, as far as I'm aware. Um, I don't know if you could call them indie, because originally they they were quite a small company, um, about twenty members, I believe, twenty staff. But now, I, they must be much larger by now. I, I believe it, at least figures of 70 and upwards. So, getting there to a, a standard team, I suppose. But, you know, well done to them. Arena-based shooter, I suppose. You basically have um, your standard machine gun, and then you've got a rocket launcher as well, which you can use. There's no ammo in the game, but you rely solely on a cooling system. So once you've run out of coolant, you can't use those anymore. Although I believe there are um, there's ammo for like the high-powered rockets, and you've got offensive items like these grenades, which are obviously limited in use. And then you can have defensive items like repair or a hologram to, to you know confuse people, or a shield. Or functional items such as an EMP or other sort of tactical items that you might want, and you can upgrade your mech in every number of ways. Uh, as you can see, this is the basic one. It's the uh, microwave or the oven, as I like to call it, and you can customize it quite neatly. Actually, I mean, there's there's quite a lot of uh, there you go X face. It's uh, not as beautiful as the good old rookie oven. I'm liking the oven. And, you know, you can customize various parts of it, so people who love their mechs will definitely be happy with this game. And you can even paint various parts, have a little camo pattern as well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ready for, for war. And standard sort of free-to-play elements here, you've got your cash for premium items and unlocking things early usually, and then you've got the currency that you actually earn. And obviously you level up as you go through the game. You know, after you after you go through fights and such. Uh you can also buy ready made mechs. So these are ones specifically catered towards a certain type of combat. So Rocketeer is obviously a long range art artillery mech, and then you've got berserkers and assaults which are essentially the run up in your face and shoot you repeatedly until you die. But, you know, enough about that, right? Oh, I mean, I'll quickly show you the um, optimization system. It's basically a skill tree system whereby you can give each of your mech sort of uh, a boost in certain parameters. So you can give your mech a certain boost in damage, for example, or dodge speed, things like that. You know, how, how you like to play, and then it kind of caters your mech towards your playstyle. Anyway, let's try and get a game. There was originally a training mode, but uh, I guess that'll be coming in this, the future at some point. There's a friends list and stuff, but you can't party up quite yet. Let's go into a deathmatch. Good old fashioned death fail to join. Okay, that's fine. Here we go. Right, so your standard movement is WASD, and then left click is your assault rifle. Right click is your rocket launcher. You can either use shift and a direction to move and dash, or you can double tap, depending on how, how you like to play. And then you've also got jump jets, which give you limited flying. You'll see in the bottom of the screen a little uh, fuel gauge there. Oh, there's people on the map behind me. And on the bottom right, in the center of the hood, you can also see how many grenades I have shoot this guy. I don't know why he's flying towards me. Shoot him out the air. I'm sorry, Jeffrey7. That wasn't very nice of me. Oh, and uh, it's also worth noting that you can repair yourself, which is 
It kind of limits your map viewing, but you know, it's it's got to have a downside. You can't just repair away and negate all your damages constantly. It definitely has the feel of a classical mech warrior game, but it's it's a lot more fast paced. And yeah, it's I would say I'm pretty sure someone else mentioned it, but it's definitely a sort of melding of West and East robots. Sort of Gundam style combat mixed with uh, mech warriors. So I think if people have played any of those Gundam games before, the Gundam vs Gundam games, they might enjoy this game a bit. No melee weapons so far, but I mean, it's always a possibility in the future. Oh, Jeffrey came after me again. But, you know, I got him. And uh, it's also worth noting that when you uh, die, you drop a um, drop a little energy core that you can pick up for health. So you don't always have to use C to heal. You can always, like, pick up um, things from the corpses of your enemies, which is lovely. Um, there are currently, I believe, four maps in the game. Sahara, Andromeda, Titan, and Alleys. This one's kind of a mix between Andromeda, which is kind of a cyberpunk city. It's really nice looking. I mean, even this stage, wow. just It just looks good. Like You feel like you're really in a mech, with all the dust and everything. And Yeah, it's good. Good stuff. Let's use a grenade or two. Oh, I completely missed. I don't know why he landed on top of me. Clearly, he thought that was a good idea. And uh, Sahara is basically this stage, but um, more barren, de more desert like. And then Titan is a very strange bear stage. Not a bear stage, just in the animal, but no, not much to it. There are actually, um, I believe, three modes in this game. You've got, well, I mean, deathmatch, team deathmatch. They're kind of one and the same, really. And then Siege is an interesting one. We'll get back to that in a second. And then we've got Missile Assault, where, whereby you, there are three central points, and you have, each have a base. And when you control one of those points, it fires on the enemy base. So it's in your best interest to hold as many of those as possible for as long as possible. So it's just kind of King of the Hill, Dominion type mode. And by... Um, holding these points you eventually win so uh, you know, it's not nothing much different to it other than they are missile bases and they shoot on your enemy's base. A siege is an interesting one. A siege involves um, controlling a central point but also collecting energy from all around the level and then depositing it in your central base and then by doing that you fuel your battleship and that allows your battleship to lift off and fly towards the enemy base plowing through any battleships they might have um, but if you have a central point controlled then that helps defend as well or attack and then you have three battleships in total I believe which means you have three chances to destroy your enemy. It, it lasts for a long time. These games last for a long time. I think the standard for each of these games is about 10 to 15 minutes. But yeah, let's quickly switch over to a Siege game so I can show you what that's all about. Here we are in a game of Siege. Let's get my bearings. Right, so there's the enemy base. And here's our base. Oh, that's our battleship. Let's have a quick look at it. Fancy. You'll see this flying soon. Right, so we've got to go to these places. E1 and E2. And we've got to collect some energy. Oh, an enemy. Right, let's go find some energy. You can also kill enemies and take energy from their ships. If you so choose, but this is the, the most efficient way. All right, buddy, let's go. For the good of the uh, for our team, wherever we're called. I don't think we have particular designations. I think we're just two horrible mech armies fighting against each other. Oh, wow. All 
Right, so they were already collecting energy and we've disrupted their feeding time. So they are none too happy. So you don't want to overheat your guns. You want to try and keep it in the yellow. Right, here we go. See, as you can see on the left, it's filling my energy. You can go back whenever you want, but it's best to fill up as much as possible. There we go. I've got 70. Oh, taken out before I could even turn. Uncool, man. Uncool. Alright, let's head over to this point. It seems friendlier because we've got people here. Oh boy, here comes trash talk, right guys? Can't have an online game without trash talk. I believe the more people on a point, the slower it fills up, maybe? I don't know, it just seems that way to me, I'm not entirely sure. But, I'm not too sure. Let's fill up a... Uh, uh, the points on the map, we have a lot of people around us. Battleship launching in 10 seconds. Alright, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get to crazy action time. Alright, our battleship's about to launch. As you can see, it's appeared on the hood there. It's got health bars and everything, and it does defend itself, but, I mean, it's no match for the enemy battleship if we're not helping out as well. Here we go. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Look at that, baby. Flying away. Just casually, you know, flying in the desert. Why not? And if you can see at the top, there are sort of houses, well, triangles, what you, uh, not triangles, pentagons. Gotta learn that math. There are pentagons on either side, and then three bars. Three bars means uh, three lives. So the idea is that we have to fly towards their base and mess up their base, and each time we do that, we take our life away from them. So that's essentially the uh, aim of the game. We have to secure this anti-air in the center now. And by doing that, we uh, can stop the enemy from shooting down our beautiful battleship. Ow, jeez, there's a lot of them. Come on, leave our battleship alone. What's it ever done to you? Wow. Sometimes you just gotta explode. Okay. As you can see at the top and little uh, display there, we have almost made it to their base and they have not even launched theirs yet, so we're gonna free kill her. I don't think we even need to control the main base. Wow. Look at it flying away there. I feel like I should be helping out the team, but it's just so beautiful watching the battleship fly towards its target. Magnificent. Fly, young battleship. You you can do this. You got this. I believe in you. They have 10 seconds left before we destroy their base. Oh. And then we need to do it two more times. Ouch. Right, let's get there two more times. In my personal opinion, this game mode seems a little bit long, but I suppose it is called Siege, and connotations with Siege are that it's a very long term sort of uh, game mode. So, I mean, it's staying true to the name. I know some people might prefer this mode a bit more to the standard uh, deathmatch. A bit more tactical. Definitely more tactical. Oh, I 
I picked the wrong one again. Well, as long as I can distract them, our team can collect some energy. Man, I am just not good at this. Or maybe they have better mechs. You know, maybe maybe that's why. Oh dear, that's bad for us. We're almost there though. Another 150 and then we can match theirs. Somehow we're slipping behind a little. Alright, I've got enough. Hopefully someone will get back before me and fill up with energy, but... Failing that, I'll be the saviour for the team. I am the saviour that this battleship needs. Speaking of battleship, they're going to make a terrible movie. Oh no, they already released that, didn't they? Liam Neeson, what are you doing to your career? Seriously. Here we go, back in the base, and then we're just going to fill up. Here we go. No? Oh wait, here we go. Just get raped by a giant energy robot. It's all for the good of the team though. All for the good of the team. Here we go. See guys, I did it. I played an important role. Now we just have to destroy their battleship and then get our battleship into their base. Easy, right? Wrong. I just love the, the feel of the mech. It just feels like you're really in a hunkering pile of metal. Hunkering, that's a word, right? Oh. Alright, we're destroying their, their battleship. Oh, Jesus. Just throw all the grenades. Ah, it's also worth noting that you can do a 180 flip turn thing. 180 turn. Instant turn. Just double tap back or boost backwards. Alright, we have almost destroyed the battleship. I think I can just shoot on it, to be honest. Not sure. I think I just fired on our own. No, it didn't. That's fine. There we go. There we go. And now our battleship is cleared to go into their base and mess them up. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Let's have a quick repair and admire our battleship. Oh man. So as you can see, it's as if you control the central, then um, it's it's pretty important. But uh, I think you get the idea anyway, ladies and gentlemen. I think I'll leave it there for today. We'll probably do a bit more Hawken, maybe some co-op Hawken. I mean, that is what the game's all about, right? Team play. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, look into the game. Right, I'll see you next time ladies and gentlemen, see you next time.